Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is a episode for the uh, for our camping and uh, survival equipment stuff. Uh, now this one's based off of the camping gear. Uh, and here we go right here is this uh, Trailblazer portable fire hammock. And uh, as you can see there's a little picture of it right there and it does have like a little case and everything. Uh, now this is pretty cool, it's, uh, it's a, it seems to be a steel mesh there and it's uh, propped up off the ground so uh, for those of you who want to have a fire in the backyard without having to uh, burn the grass or um, you know put down uh, uh, one of those big heavy uh, fire pits or anything like that you've got something real simple and lightweight here um, this is only about two and a half feet long maybe total for this box and uh, it's uh, I mean it only weighs maybe a couple pounds it's and that's with the box and everything it's probably a little lighter without that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it open and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and get a fire started inside. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. You can see it uh, got the fire started here and everything. It's been burning for a little bit now. And uh, I got some, uh, some small, some small uh, branches on there that I broke up as well as some, uh, some natural hardwood charcoal. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. It's, it's a little difficult getting it started initially because you, if you're going to get it started using uh, maybe flint and steel or something like that, um, you definitely need to put it on a board or something like that first because, of course, that does flex and trying to push into it doesn't work very well uh, to, to strike and start the fire. But if you're just going to use a lighter or a match or something like that, it, it'll light up just fine that way. Uh, with the... Uh, bottom of it there being a mesh it does let air up through so it does burn relatively quick compared to one that's on the ground here's the uh the bag here you can see just a simple bag it's got a fold over section here and there is uh some uh some velcro there and then of course you can see trailblazer it has these two uh, cords, and there's two on the top and two on the bottom, and as you can see down there, I took and uh, tied them in a knot to make it sort of a sling harness. I guess you could tie them independently, but uh, I don't really know that that's necessary, especially since they're both on the same side. If they were on either side of this, then maybe you could kind of set this up like a backpack, um, like those simple string backpacks, but uh, it's not real convenient when both of them are on the same side. All right, guys. Well, uh, if you guys want to check this out, I did get this from Bud K, and I'll have that um, or the uh, link in the uh, description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to check out our social media. Leave a comment if you if you have anything to say about it, what what you think about it, or anything like that. Uh, and uh, you know, also don't forget to uh, you know like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. There, of course, will be a link uh, down there in the bottom corner. I think it's going to be right over there somewhere. Um, and uh, if not, you can click the uh, subscribe button down below the video as well. Don't forget to hit that uh, bell icon to uh, you know make sure that you're notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for me today. Uh, hopefully, you like this. It's a pretty simple, nice little thing. Great for uh, camping, even in just your backyard or something like I'm doing right now. And uh, yeah, it works. So uh, that'll do it for me today, guys. My name's Cougar. This is uh, the world of me and uh, part of the camping and uh, survival series. And I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.